Hi, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today, we're going to show you photorealistic mid-journey prompts. It's a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now, let's get right into it. Now in today's video, I will be teaching you how to get amazing realistic photo designs or photo outputs in mid-journey such as this one over here which is a photo of a husky of the Giza pyramids as you can see you wouldn't tell that this is uh, AI generated because of the amount of details I'm going to teach you how you will be able to get such results over here now first of all we're going to teach you the different effects that you could add to your prompts now you could do slash settings and you will be able to see settings of your personal account as you can see here you could choose from the different version of mid journey you have version 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5.1, raw mode, Niji version, and Niji version 5. You could also edit the styles over here to make it very high. Now, there are some suffixes that aren't present here, and these are the different suffixes. The different suffixes are AR, which is aspect ratio, test, creative, test P, stylized, which is this thing over here, the same thing, no, which is negative prompt, video, Q, which is for quality, V settings which is what we just did over here seed and C for chaos you could use this different suffixes over here to help improve your props now for how to get such images like this one how to get photorealistic images is by simply going to mid journey showcase over here which will show you all the different outputs of mid journey from the best of the best you can check out the reason and the top over here and what I'm going to teach you is simply a tip on how you could get amazing results every time is what you're going to do is going to go to the community showcase look for photorealistic outputs over here and we're simply going to copy their prompts so for example we're going to look for one we're going to go and check out a realistic photo that they have produced and for example this one it is a bit realistic you could see you could imagine that a photographer would take this photo because you could see how much details there is in this photo you have the details on the floor over here on the background and the person over here you can even see like a transparency on their clothes so what you're still going to do is go to mid journey hover over the specific photo click on the three dots and copy the entire command click on full command now you can also copy the prompt only but for the command you will be able to also copy the suffix used by the user that created this photo over here so going back here we're going to do imagine and type in or paste the prompt that we have copied in mid journey over here so keep in mind this is our goal over here to have this photorealistic output with one of our output as well as you can see the prompt is amazing and ancient exotic yet calming foggy epic dusk beautiful lighting and brilliant colors now there isn't a specific topic or specific theme added to the prompt so that's what you can do you could add a specific topic to this prompt so we can say for example jungle tempo and click on comma and we're going to enter and let's see if we will be able to replicate our style over here but this time with a jungle as the theme like a jungle tempo so we're simply going to wait and you could also go back to mid journey showcase while waiting for this one to show our result and we could look for another photorealistic image now this looks photorealistic but as you can see it has fictional elements to it so i really wouldn't consider it as photorealistic or a photographer would have taken because there is a lot of different uh, fictional elements to it so we're going to go with the most realistic photo that we can find so we're simply going to scroll down and look through the different photos available in this section and look for a realistic version now this one over here looks very realistic you could see that this could be taken by a photographer you could have the details over here you have the leaves the background and our main character over here so we're going to do this one next after this one and as you can see we're going to wait for it and this is our photo over here i think we missed the realistic version of this photo as you can see we have different styles over here could have it could be realistic it could be a photography photo i think the third one could be the best version for this one so we're going to upscale the third version i could see the third one being a photo that's taken by a photographer so let's see and wait for it to be upscaled and let's compare the difference between this one and this one over here now i can see that it could generate something else because in the prompt we aren't seeing really we aren't really seeing any prompt that says photorealistic or ultra hd all of those stuff you could add those things on your own 
And as you can see, this is the third image. You could see it's a bit realistic, actually. You could imagine that this is taken by a photographer because of the details like the fog, the trees in the background, the amount of details of the temple over here. You could think that this is taken by a photographer. So let's try and replicate this time this photo over here. So going back here, do the same thing, three dots, copy, full command, and going back to Discord, do slash, imagine, paste it just like that. And now over here, what we can do is we could change the topic. For example, we could change it itself of a beautiful woman in Chinese. We could change it to a different character. So for example, we could change it to a Japanese. And our handful dress would be changed to kimono. And click on enter. And let's see how it will be able to replicate this design over here. Now keep in mind, we change our team or we change our model over here so that we wouldn't have the same model as this one so let's see if we will be able to replicate the realistic and photography feel of this photo over here so let's look for one last photo that we will be able to replicate let's see if there is a very realistic one we could have this one but let's go keep looking and let's see if we have if we can find a photo or a prop over here that has a prompt of photography in there designs now this photo over here looks very realistic so we will be trying to replicate this one over here so we're going to copy our prop over here as you can see already in the prompt of the user it is using hyperscale realistic photography so we will be able to be confident that this prop over here will be using or will be producing photography feeling of photos so we're going to use that one going back here let's see and as you can see, this is the photo produced, actually super high in details. We could see a lot of details on each and every photo over here. We're going to upscale each and every one of this. And we're going to see and compare it with our photo over here. Although it didn't say anything about photography, you could already see how much quality is present in each of this photo. So let's see and wait for the upscaled version. As you can see, this is our first one our second one and our third one over here we're going to see each version over here this is our first one we have a lot of details as you can see here we have very realistic details over here you could even see a reflection on the on the water over here you could see the person sitting you could check out the other one this one over here has a lot of details as well you can see a reflection to the water and like you could see details like the plants the person like the details of the cloth as you can see here there's a lot of details being present and you have this one and this one as well i think this is the best one out of the four image that we have produced because you can see like the cloth being wet over here like the light hitting the person on the hair you can see how much details is in this photo over here now for our last uh, design we're going to copy this one over here now for this time we're not going to change our model we're simply going to try and replicate the specific image over here so we're going to do imagine Control v and let's see how we will be able to produce this one and we're going to wait now unfortunately some parameters are un unavailable because this photo over here is nine months old and some of the different prompts are being changed every update so we're just simply going to remove the beta or this up beta over here just like that and instead we're going to replace it with s750 for the style and we're going to enter and let's see how we will be able to reproduce this image over here we're simply going to give it a few seconds or a few minutes and just like that we were able to produce super realistic photography image over here we have the same style as this one over here and we have different results over here you can see the details like the sun hitting the face the hitting the hair all of those details that you would be able to see in real life photography and like i said earlier you can simply add it or add more to the prompts but keep in mind that you should be keeping most of the prompts intact so that you will be able to recreate the specific design that you are trying to copy and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching